In this lecture, we will understand about the Mohr circle state of stress. Now, this is an element subjected to a plane state of stress system as we have discussed earlier. Sigma x, sigma y and tau x, y bring the stress components. Now, by using the Mohr circle state of stress, what we do basically is that it's a very easy method to find out the normal and shear stress at different orientations of the plane. Right. So, if we can construct a Mohr circle, right, the circle was discovered by Mohr and hence Mohr circle. So, if we can construct a Mohr circle, then we basically what we can achieve is we can find out the different values of sigma n and tau n and different values of theta. And let us see how to construct a Mohr circle. Suppose this is my two axes and I represent sigma and tau. Sigma is represented along x axis and tau is represented along y, y axis. Now, let us first represent the stress, the state of stress on the x plane, that is this plane that is perpendicular to the x-axis so this is the x-plane and in this x-plane I have sigma x and I have tau xy so essentially if we represent this two stress components in this plane we have if suppose this value is equal to sigma x and suppose this is equal to tau xy then we have a point here representing this and then we got to represent the white plane also and the white plane is essentially characterized by two stress components sigma y and tau yx and tau yx is nothing but is equal to minus tau xy right so essentially this is equal to sigma y and this is characterized by minus tau x y so I have this y plane here now we know that the, if, if there are two planes in the in the previous lecture we did what we did basically was that we found out that if the principal planes were at an angle of 90 degree to each other or if they were orthogonal then the values will differ by 2 theta right that is 2 into 90 degree so essentially these two planes are orthogonal. The x and y plane are orthogonal. So the values will differ by 180 degree. And hence, we can join them and we can have a straight line because this whole thing is equal to 180 degree. So this straight line basically represents, this represents the x plane and this represents the y plane. Now, we got to find the principal planes. And the principal planes are those planes wherein there will be the maximum and minimum value of normal stress and in those planes shear stress will be equal to zero. And we observe that shear stress can be zero at only this plane, right? So there will be two values of theta wherein the shear stress will be equal to zero and those two values can be obtained if we draw the Mohr circle basically so taking this as the center and taking this as the radius <coughs> we draw a Mohr circle and at this point we observe that tau is equal to 0 at this point tau is equal to 0 so these two points essentially this is sigma 1 which it represents a maximum value of normal stress and this point represents the minimum value of normal stress that is sigma 2. Right. And if you have to find the maximum value of shear stress, then it's nothing but the radius. That is this. This will represent the maximum value of shear stress. Here, tau n max. Right. Or here also, tau n will have its maximum value. And sigma 1 and sigma 1 will be the maximum value of normal stress and sigma 2 will be the minimum value of normal stress. Now as we have observed in the previous lecture that the principal planes are at an angle of 2 theta and 2 theta plus 180 degree right with respect to the x and y plane. So essentially if this is my x plane so this principal plane will be at an angle of 2 theta 
this will be 2 theta and this the minimum where the minimum normal stress occur this will be at an angle of 180 degree with respect to this plane so 2 theta plus 180 degree with respect to this so here in what I did basically in this lecture was I understood the concept of more circle state of stress and here in we can find the values of sigma and tau for different values of theta right now what is the value of sigma 1 can we obtain it from more circle yeah we can sigma 1 is nothing but O suppose this is O this is O1 this is per center and this is suppose O2 this point so if this is equal to O O2 now O O2 is nothing but O O1 plus O1 O2 right now O O1 is nothing but this is sigma y right and this is equal to sigma y plus sigma x by 2 right O O1 and O1 O2 is nothing but is the radius and the radius is given by this and this is equal to this square plus this square now this square is equal to tau xy whole square and this is equal to nothing but sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square and <coughs> I have to put a square root here so sigma 1 is essentially this and sigma 2 will be nothing but sigma 2 is equal to suppose this is O O3 so O O3 is equal to O O1 minus O1 O3 so this radius basically there will be a negative sign here so O O1 is nothing but sigma x plus sigma y by 2 again and O1 O3 is minus this tau xy whole square plus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square and the maximum value of shear stress that is tau max is equal to the radius which is equal to again sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau xy whole square thanks a lot for listening thank you